Today is Sunday, May 17th, and we have officially begun our IVF journey. I am starting my first shot today, and I'm very excited. I'm not very scared of needles. Yes, so. I'm not very scared of needles. I am ready to get started. Today is Sunday, May 31st. I had my final ultrasound this morning for my checkups on my follicles, and I went from 16 to 20. We are gonna go ahead and trigger tonight. That means that I will take my final shot. I'm very excited for this process to be over. The egg retrieval process is a lot more difficult than I expected it to be. My ovaries are so enlarged, I can't sleep very well, I can't walk normally, but I'm very excited it's almost over because it has been very draining and my body is exhausted to say the least. Just got done with the retrieval. Brooke's still on some medication, so she's tired. But she did really good. She uh, was able to get so 15 eggs. And well, we'll hear back tomorrow on how many fertilized, and then we'll take it day by day. All right, today is June 3rd. It's the day after the egg retrieval. The healing process is going much better today than it did yesterday. Yesterday was pretty difficult, pretty uncomfortable. Um, this morning we got our first call on the progress of the eggs being fertilized. So we had started out with 20 follicles. Of those 20, they were able to retrieve 15 follicles. Of those 15, um, only 12 were mature enough to fertilize. And this morning they called us and said that of the 12 fertilized, we only have seven that have two pronuclei, which means they were successfully fertilized. It's very disheartening and upsetting to go from yesterday hoping for 20 eggs to going down to seven already. We aren't losing hope, but that was a big hit for sure. So we're just hoping that by Sunday we'll have at least 
two or three blastocysts that can go be genetically tested and that will have at least just one come back good. Today so. is June 4th. It's the second day since the egg retrieval. Yesterday we had our result of seven of the eggs being fertilized. Today they called to tell us which of those have divided, which all seven of them divided. Five of them have four cells and two of them have two cells. So tomorrow we expect them to progress to about four to eight cells, so they should double. So we're just hoping that all seven of these will keep holding on until all right, we got great news this morning. All of the embryos split, they all doubled. So we have five embryos at eight cells and two all at right, four. Today is Sunday. We got our what was supposed to be our final call and we have two embryos that have already reached the blastocyst stage. They biopsied and froze those already. And we have two that should reach that stage tomorrow and three that are a couple of days behind. Right, it's Monday morning, it's June 8th. Um, today is day six since the egg retrieval. Today we were supposed to have a definite final say on how many embryos we have. Um, last night they, they weren't able, or this morning, they weren't able to biopsy or freeze any more embryos. Um, they said that the two that were close, they seemed to be one day behind yesterday. One of them is very close, and so they're gonna give it until tomorrow to potentially be able to biopsy and freeze that one if it makes it fully to the blastocyst stage. But the other one hasn't grown since yesterday, and then the other three that were just multi-cell, they're still only at eight cells. So those haven't grown either. So it looks like right now we're only gonna have two for sure tested and possibly one more tomorrow. Um, I'm glad that we have any to test for sure, but I'm very, very nervous and scared right now. Three is not very many, so. Um, our chances of having a healthy embryo from this without any chromosomal abnormalities is kind of slim. So I'm preparing myself for the worst so that I'm not let down, um, but still trying to keep hope because we could have one or more that are healthy and that will give us a good pregnancy, but. All right, I just received our final early morning update on our embryos. So the one yesterday that they said could turn into a blastocyst, it did. They were able to biopsy and freeze the third one. So our final number is three, which is not great, but it's better than two, which is what I expected yesterday. So. They are sending those off today for genetic testing to see if all of the chromosomes are normal and hopefully get us a healthy baby. Um, those results are gonna take three to four weeks. We're very nervous, very excited at the same time because our miracle baby could be one of these embryos, but only time will tell. Today is Tuesday, June 30th. It has been 21 days since we sent our embryos in for testing, and it's been exactly four weeks since our egg retrieval. It's been a long month. We've been obviously waiting every day for updates and for calls. Well, today we finally got our call, and I'm, I'm still in shock. Um, but we have two embryos two genetically normal embryos um, of the three that we sent in. This was a very unlikely outcome. It was unlikely to have one normal, but we have two. So we feel so blessed and so excited. Um, like I said, I'm still in shock. I don't even know exactly what to say. If two of three come back normal, Next step is transfer, and hopefully 
one or both, if we use one later on, will stick and we'll have two healthy babies eventually. So we're, we're so elated. Today is July 24th. I just got out of my first monitoring appointment in prep for the transfer and she said everything looks great. I have one really big follicle growing so once that egg is mature we should be good to go for transfer. They said my endometrium is measuring around an 8 and that is ideal she said for a home for this baby so we're getting closer and everything is looking on track. They said we might be doing the transfer next week so crossing our fingers that everything goes as planned and they're gonna call me later with an update. All right, our nurse called and she said that my endometrium lining is the perfect thickness and everything looks great and we actually are done prepping. After one day of our stimming shots, we're already done. So we're about to do our trigger shot, then we're gonna transfer in one week. So July 31st will be our transfer date. I just got the results from the blood test this morning and I'm pregnant. Our levels are of HCG are 919.3, which my nurse said was great for where I'm at right now. Um, I am four weeks and five days pregnant. If all goes well, our due date will be April 18th of 2021. I just got the results of my second blood draw. Our levels needed to be around 3600 and I'm at 4739, so we are officially and definitely pregnant. All right, I just left my first ultrasound to check on the baby and I saw the baby. I'm only six weeks and one day pregnant, so my doctor said it might be too early to see the heartbeat, but I saw the heartbeat. I saw a little flicker on the screen and it was the most amazing thing ever. second ultrasound today it's September 4th and Corbin was able to see the baby for the first time and see the heartbeat and the baby is measuring perfectly the baby looks like a little gummy bear right now and the heart rate was 161 
Why does he have to be like, why?